I bought a couple of these lithium iron battery packs. They use this kind of battery. Um, I took this one out from a laptop and they're pretty good. Anyway, uh, this is the first one that I bought. This is only one USB output. I think that is fine. Um, you probably shouldn't be charging more than one anyway. Uh, this is the new one. This looks very nice. Plastic, smooth. The only thing that I don't like about this one is is the micro USB connector. This used to be in here. And the last time I use it, I push the connector in and this somehow um, I think was glued onto the board rather than soldered on and it's extremely flimsy so it uh, got disconnected from the charging board making this thing completely useless because if you can't charge it then uh, what are you going to do with it? So what I did was uh, I put in a lithium iron charging board and I used the one that came with a, a mini uh, receptacle instead of the micro USB. This is uh, quite a bit sturdier. So what I did was I just connected this charging board, the positive and the negative, um, the output, I connected it to the positive and negative rail, I ran a wire inside and just soldered it on, connected to the positive and negative rail, and now I can use my USB charger and plug it in here to charge it. So while I'm at it, I added a small solar panel again to the battery input and the battery output goes you know on the other end over here it's difficult to see but the output is over here the input is over here and then the output of the the battery charger goes to to charge the battery so the solar panel is really small it's really more to keep the batteries from discharging. This type of uh, lithium-ion battery are uh, the more inexpensive ones. Uh, they don't really hold a charge well like these laptop batteries. So the solar panel will help to, to keep it uh, top off. I set the switch position here to output 2 amps because uh, that's how I want it. And the new ones um, is not very intuitive if you want to use it. And uh, I'll show you. If you want to turn it on, you just press it once. That's okay. And there's a power indicator bar there to show you whether it's fully charged or not. And if you want to turn on the flashlight, you have to press it two times. You turn it off two times. And if you want to turn off the unit itself, you have to give this a long press and wait till it goes out, the light goes out, then everything will turn off. Now, how are you gonna, uh, how are you gonna know how to operate this if you haven't done it before? So, it's not very uh, intuitive. Like I said, too flimsy. I would rather use something like this. This is the older style one. This has a battery condition, uh, battery condition meter. I would rather use something like this. This is the old style single USB output, and it has a mini. Uh, USB input to charge plus it has a like a 3.5 m 
am uh, charging input also you can plug something uh, with that kind of connector it has a flashlight this is not the high uh, bright precision if you want it brighter just press a button on the side here makes it a little brighter and there's a battery condition gauge here presses all three lights up 100% and if only two of them uh, light up then uh, there may be like 70% uh, the case is a little more difficult to open than this one uh, you need to take out a couple of screws but then uh, more often than not you won't be taking off the cover and uh, I think uh, one USB output is sufficient for me I mean you know how to you know how to switch it on you just press the switch whereas this one is a series of short presses long presses just to turn it on to charge in order to charge you just plug it into the micro USB port this is actually the battery is pretty much much fully charged the red light comes on and when the blue light comes on it's uh, fully charged and turn the unit on yep. so that's charging now so it's charging at uh, 80 MA and uh, 5 volt or so. It's 80 MA because the cell phone is already charged. That's why it's uh, charging, putting out only 80 MA. Okay, it's the same deal for the other one. Um, plug it in here and you charge. Alright, that's my video for the day. Thanks for watching.